few days. Fox Carolina's Kayla Convoy joins us live tonight. And Kayla, what were you seeing? I went downtown just to see what the crowds were like. And before this rain hit, I must say restaurants and outside sitting areas completely packed before this weather hit. Lots of people looking to get outside this Monday afternoon. While half of the state is paused, the other half is not flocking to beaches and lakes this holiday weekend. It's a little tricky because there's so there's just so much out there that's still uncertain at this point. You know, um, I think I've seen things like, oh, warm weather is coming. Heat and sunshine will kill it. So if you go outside, you're safe. Kevin Bennett is a professor at the South Carolina School of Medicine in Columbia. He says for months he's been hearing people talk about the do's and don'ts of going out. And with crowds piling into small spaces, he has some thoughts. Going outside, you're better off because you're not in a closed room with a bunch of people. Um, but if you're shoulder to shoulder on the beach, you know, that's probably not a great place to be. He says while so many are anxious to get back to normal, it's important to still take guidelines seriously, particularly when it comes to masks. Even if it's just a piece of cloth or a bandana, you know, put something there, some sort of barrier there is helpful. Um, there's, I think CDC put out a graphic about if everybody does it, the risk of transmission drops down to single digits. Even if it's, you know, um, even if it's just one of you, it's it's a lot less likely. Bennett says while things are reopening, the spread is still happening and it's quite possible to be a carrier experiencing no symptoms. So he says if you do choose to go out in public spaces, just take that into consideration. Wearing a mask in public isn't just for you to not get it, but it's also in case you do have it, you don't spread it. And I think those are the kind of things to kind of keep in mind as we go forward, especially as things start opening up a little bit. He says many of these beaches are also in rural areas and they may not have the means in those hospitals to care for lots of patients. He says there may be a shortage of doctors or supplies, so keep that in mind. Reporting live, Kayla Convoy, Fox Carolina, the 10 o'clock news.